Around 600,000 years ago, large-brained hominins using Acheulean stone tools invaded Europe. Because similar fossils and tools are found earlier in Africa, they were most likely African hominins. They've been dubbed archaic Homo sapiens, Homo heidelbergensis, and early Neanderthals, but their origins remain a mystery. They could have been Neanderthals and modern humans' ancestors, Neanderthals only, or an evolutionary dead end. This archaic human dispersal, which unfolded more than 600,000 years ago, bears a striking parallel to the much later dispersal of modern humans from Africa into Eurasia after 100,000 years ago. In both cases, the small bottleneck is etched into the genomes of all their descendants, and in both cases, this founder population quickly expanded its geographic range and divided into regional populations. Far from the stereotype of plodding, retrograde cavemen, the Neanderthals exhibited explosive dispersal and growth. A growing synthesis of fossil and genetic data reveals the striking dynamism of these archaic people. They were replaced later in the Middle Pleistocene by a wave of African hominins who separated Neanderthals from modern humans and introduced the Levalois stone tool tradition to Europe, according to this last hypothesis. Scientists used a statistical method to study genetic data from Africans, Eurasians, Neanderthals, and Denisovans to address this controversy. Remarkably, the common origin of modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans is earlier than 600,000, but no known fossil in Africa or Southwest Asia provides a good candidate for this population. Neanderthals have long been regarded as uber-masculine brutes, especially when compared to their lighter modern human cousins, with whom they competed for food, territory, and mates. A new study finds that when Homo sapiens men mated with Neanderthal women more than 100,000 years ago, they essentially emasculated their brawny brethren. Because of these unions, modern Y chromosomes, swept through subsequent generations of Neanderthal boys, eventually replacing the Neanderthal Y chromosome. The new discovery could explain why researchers have been unable to find a Neanderthal Y chromosome for over a decade. Part of the problem was a lack of DNA from men, of the dozen Neanderthals whose DNA has been sequenced thus far, the majority is from women, because the DNA in male Neanderthal fossils was either poorly preserved or contaminated with bacteria. We began to wonder if any male Neanderthals existed. Scientists developed a set of probes that used the DNA sequence from small chunks of modern men's Y chromosomes to fish out and bind with DNA from archaic men's Y chromosomes in a technological breakthrough. The new method works because the chromosomes of Neanderthals and modern humans are mostly identical, the DNA probes also capture the few base pairs that differ. The researchers examined the fragmentary Y chromosomes of three Neanderthal men from Belgium, Spain, and Russia who lived between 38,000 and 53,000 years ago, as well as two male Denisovans, Neanderthal close cousins who lived in Siberia's Denisova cave between 46,000 and 130,000 years ago. When the DNA was sequenced, the researchers discovered that the Neanderthal Y chromosome looked more like modern humans than Denisovans. This was a puzzle, because previous research revealed that the rest of the Neanderthal nuclear genome, is a better match for Denisovans. This suggests that the two groups split from modern humans around 600,000 years ago. But the appearance of the unusual Y chromosome coincides with another genetic takeover, instead of the ancient Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA found in earlier fossils, Neanderthal remains dating from 38,000 to 100,000 years ago contain the maternally inherited mitochondrial DNA, mitochondrial DNA, of a modern human woman. In that case, more than 220,000 years ago, an early Homo sapiens woman interbred with a Neanderthal man, and their descendants carried modern mitochondrial DNA. According to the team's computational models, the best explanation for the Y chromosome pattern, is that early modern human men mated with Neanderthal women more than 100,000 but less than 370,000 years ago. Their sons would have inherited the modern human Y chromosome, which is inherited paternally. 
The modern Y chromosome then rapidly spread through their offspring to the small populations of Neanderthals in Europe and Asia, eventually supplanting the Neanderthal Y chromosome, according to the findings published today in Science. Interestingly, the modern human mates were not ancestors of today's Homo sapiens, but were most likely part of a population that migrated out of Africa early and then became extinct. Researchers aren't sure why the replacement occurred. Because Neanderthals had more deleterious mutations across their genomes, natural selection may have favored the Homo sapiens Y chromosome. Neanderthal populations were smaller than modern populations, and small populations tend to accumulate deleterious mutations, particularly on the X and Y chromosomes. Modern humans may have had a genetic advantage due to their larger, more genetically diverse ancestral populations. Another possibility is that after Neanderthals acquired modern human mitochondrial DNA, their cells favored interaction with modern human Y. The best way to test this hypothesis is to obtain DNA from early Neanderthals and see if their Y chromosome resembled that of Denisovans. Meanwhile, the study concludes that the admixture of modern humans and Neanderthals was a defining feature of hominin history. It not only provided modern humans with Neanderthal DNA, but it also fundamentally altered Neanderthals. In fact, the mitochondrial DNA introgression that occurred 500,000 years ago between Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis, a transfer that could only occur in agreement with the physical coexistence of Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis. Because Homo neanderthalensis is restricted to Eurasia, the introgression and continuous evolution of both Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis can only be attributed to this continent. The phylogenetic nature of the emerging Homo sapiens branch is consistent with the strict limitation of Homo neanderthalensis, the mitochondrial DNA sister group of Homo sapiens, to Eurasia and the mitochondrial DNA introgression that occurred 500,000 years ago from Homo sapiens into Homo neanderthalensis, the main branch of Homo neanderthalensis, circumstances that undermine the out-of-Africa hypothesis. The basal mitochondrial DNA divergence between the branch of Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis and that of the last common ancestor occurred 800,000 years ago, the mitochondrial DNA introgression from Homo sapiens into Homo neanderthalensis occurred 500,000 years ago, and the basal divergence among extant humans occurred 250,000 years ago. The presence of the two lineages in the same area 300,000 years after the divergence of Homo sapiens and the last common ancestor 800,000 years ago is supported by mitochondrial DNA introgression from Homo sapiens into Homo neanderthalensis. With Homo neanderthalensis restricted to Eurasia, the coexistence of Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis confirms Homo sapiens' limitation to this continent. Recently, the availability of data from archaeogenetic and population genetics has resulted in the emergence of a much more detailed picture, which lies somewhere between the two competing scenarios outlined above. The recent out-of-Africa expansion is responsible for the majority of modern human ancestry, but there have also been significant admixture events with regional archaic humans. As previously stated, the ape-human divergence occurred 8 million years ago, placing the last common ancestor divergence between Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis at 800,000 years ago and the mitochondrial DNA introgression from Homo sapiens into Homo neanderthalensis at 500,000 years ago. The basal divergence within the Homo sapiens lineage, that between Mbuti slash San and other recent lineages, is placed at 250,000 years ago, the time of the two Yoruba exoduses into Africa 225,000 and 180,000 years ago, and the age of the basal divergence among recent non-Africans at 125,000 years ago. The findings are consistent with the paleontologically established presence of Homo erectus in Eurasia, a Eurasian divergence between Homo sapiens and Homo antecessor 850,000 years ago, a Homo sapiens divergence between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals Denisovans 800,000 years ago, and mitochondrial DNA introgression from Homo sapiens into Homo neanderthalensis 500,000 years ago.
and an Eurasian divergence among the ancestors of extant Homo sapiens 250,000 years ago at the exodus of Mbuti slash San into Africa. Three of these estimates, 250,000, 225,000, and 125,000 years ago, correspond with warm global temperatures preceded by low maxima as recorded in analysis of Antarctic ice core records. The picture fits with a Eurasian Homo sapiens population that went through three cold-related bottlenecks, each followed by population expansion and dispersal. Although the timings of the molecular estimates and climatic changes may not be exact, they do highlight the scenario of oscillating climatic conditions that are likely to have affected vegetation and population structures in both humans and their prey due to changes in sea levels and dispersal routes. The modern human species was thought to have evolved from a genus Homo predecessor between 300,000 and 200,000 years ago. The morphological classification of anatomically modern, had the disadvantage of not including certain extant populations. As a result, a lineage-based definition of Homo sapiens has been proposed, with Homo sapiens referring to the modern human lineage following the split from the Neanderthal lineage. A cladistic definition of Homo sapiens would put the species age at over 500,000 years. Estimates for the split between the Homo sapiens line and the combined Neanderthal Denisovan line range from 503,000 to 565,000 years ago, 550,000 to 765,000 years ago, and possibly more than 800,000 years ago, based on rates of dental evolution. The split of the Homo sapiens lineage from ancestors shared with other known archaic hominins is estimated to have occurred over 500,000 years ago, marking the split of the Homo sapiens lineage from ancestors shared with other known archaic hominins. However, the oldest split among modern human populations, such as the Khoisan split from other groups, has recently been dated to between 350,000 and 260,000 years ago, and the earliest known examples of Homo sapiens fossils, such as the Jebel Erhoud remains from Morocco, the Florisbad skull from South Africa, and the Omo remains from Ethiopia. A recent mitochondrial DNA study proposed a 200,000-year-old origin of modern humans in Botswana, and a Khoisan split. Scholars have widely criticized this proposal, with recent evidence, genetic, fossil, and archaeological, supporting an origin for Homo sapiens 100,000 years earlier and in a larger region of Africa than the study proposes. According to some scientists, the earliest Homo sapiens, and last common human ancestor to modern humans, arose between 350,000 and 260,000 years ago, as a result of a merger of populations in East and South Africa. An alternative definition of Homo sapiens includes the lineage of modern humans, since the split from the lineage of Neanderthals approximately 500,000 to 800,000 years ago the time of divergence between archaic Homo sapiens and ancestors of Neanderthals and Denisovans, was dated at 744,000 years ago, based on repeated early admixture events and Denisovans diverging from Neanderthals 300 generations after their split from Homo sapiens. Nonetheless, the Homo remains, which were originally dated to around 195,000 years ago, have frequently been used as the traditional cutoff point for the emergence of anatomically modern humans. Since the 2000s, the discovery of older remains with comparable characteristics, as well as ongoing hybridization between modern and archaic populations after the time of the Homo remains, has sparked a renewed debate in journalistic publications about the age of Homo sapiens. Meanwhile, Homo heidelbergensis, which lived 600,000 to 300,000 years ago, has long been thought to be a likely candidate for the Neanderthal and modern human lineage's last common ancestor. Yet, genetic evidence suggests that the species Homo heidelbergensis should be included in the Neanderthal lineage as pre-Neanderthal or early Neanderthal, while the divergence time between the Neanderthal and modern lineages has been pushed back too close to 800,000 years ago, the approximate time of Homo antecessor's disappearance.